So we got the lease, we signed the lease. In the background of the negotiations for the lease, we were also organizing the CDC. Now, when we signed the lease, we thought, or we were told that it was only going to be a two, maybe four week process until we were approved for the CDC, but it ended up being four months. So we just had to wait and wait wait a little more. So Trav, you made a commitment at the start of this process that we're not just going to shoot the highlights and yep. say about everything that's good. We're also going to talk about the low lights and the difficult decisions along the way. And you had one to make last week. What yeah. Happened? Well, Nate asked me two, two weeks ago what was my hardest moment of this whole process. And up until then, it was just the roller coaster. But last week was the easily the hardest decision I've had to make this whole way. We had four different builders um, tendering the project. Uh, it came down to two. One of them was a, a person who I became really close to throughout this whole project, helped me with everything for about two years. And right at the last you know minute, so to speak, we decided we'd go with a, another builder uh, purely because of timeline issues. And that builder was Vista, but it was a really tough decision. There was the businessman in me mate, thinking about one decision and then the mate in me thinking about another decision. So super hard. And, and one of your big loyal, big values in life is loyalty. Yeah, that's true. So, so it kind of went against that exactly. to a certain extent. I, knew what I wanted to do as a business, but also there was the other side tearing me apart because loyalty is such, such a big part of my values, like Pat said. So that was why it became so difficult. And, and yeah, there was, was a few sleepless nights in there as well. And, and it's such a shame because, you know, even if we do get this done on time and I am right in my decision, I still may have lost the mate. So I was damned if I did, damned if I didn't. Mm. And how do you feel now that the dust has settled a few days later? I'm still torn. The businessman in me is very comfortable with the decision and, and I and I 100% agree with myself in that regard, thinking that we've, I've done the best thing for the business, but also the, the mate in me is, is still torn apart and I feel, I feel horrible, about, horrible about it. So that's the part of being a, you know, a, a business leader. You have to make these tough decisions. It's part and parcel. You can't just have all the fun stuff. Mm. This, is, this is one of the, one of the things where you're going to do to also be successful as well. A lot of people out there want to be the boss because they see the good things, but this is one of those moments where it's not so good and all the pressure and the decision comes down to you. Yeah, especially when you're an emotional guy like myself. Mm -hmm. You ride the highs, ride the lows, and yeah, it was it was a very it was a tough one. As I said, we've selected Vista. We're really happy with Joel Stewart and Tom Lucian. <clears throat> Can't wait. But the exciting but also a little bit scary, the countdown is now <laughs> on. Time has started. Let's go. So in September 2023, we were approved for the CDC, we chose the builder, and it was time to rock and roll. Yeah, hey, uh, my name's Joel Stewart. I'm born and bred from the Sutherland Shire, married to my wife, Jordana, um, with three kids. Uh, I've been in the industry for over 20 years now. I did a carpentry apprenticeship leading on to completing my builder's license and running multiple high-end residential projects in the Sutherland Shire and Eastern suburbs. I'm Tom, I'm one of the directors at Vista Build. I've, uh, similar to Joel, I've been in the construction industry for around about 20 years now. I'm a busy father of two, so most of my time is spent between managing the business and spending quality time with my wife and two kids. Anyone will tell you in construction that it is stressful and it is a pretty hectic and intense uh, industry to be in. So. What I do love after a long, hard kind of day's work, you get home and you see the, the smiling face on my two-year-old and four-year-old, and I think that brings you back down to earth. So I, I do love what I do, and I'm passionate about it, and, and I do enjoy it. And I think what makes it more enjoyable, I'm doing it not all of my own. I've got a great business partner in Joel who, um, you know, we're, we're in it together. We've been good mates since high school. So I think that 
that really does help. Where I believe Vistabuild stands out from other smaller residential construction companies like ourselves is the knowledge and experience that I've brought to Vistabuild with on-site, on-tools experience and also bringing Thomas from a commercial background where he's brought over the project management side has made Vistabuild a reputable construction company in Sydney delivering high-end projects on time and on budget. So I think like me and Joel, like one of our other strengths is we're both passionate, we both love what we do, we're both enthusiastic and I feel like we've, we've built a team around us that share those same core values. So when we were awarded the project, the whole Visibil team was was pumped that we that we're going to be a part of it. Um, to be able to be involved in such a unique project that's going to bring so much to the community, it's going to allow elite sportsmen from the professional football teams down to your your weekend club football team to all be able to train under one roof, to be able to recover under one roof. There's, Nothing like it in Sydney, let alone the Sutherland Shire. So to be able to, to bring so many different areas of fitness and recovery to one fitness facility is, uh, is a game changer. What I like about this job, Trav, is that it's, it's not our typical everyday job. So we're usually doing high end luxury homes where this might come across the wrong way. And I don't think it's a bad thing, but when we're doing those homes, we're benefiting, you know, just the homeowner directly where this job's got a bit more of a different feel to it. It's got more of a community vibe. So I might. A lot of people around the area know Reborn. Everyone around the area knows Reborn. So I might be getting a coffee and, you know, having a general chat to someone about what jobs we've got going on. And when I mentioned Reborn and they want to know more about it and they're genuinely excited about the project. So that makes us excited. And I just think it's just got a different feeling to, to our standard everyday job. So I like that. Also on top of that, as you know, we've got like Joel and a couple of the other guys from Vista Build. They, they train, they're getting up at and that's three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning doing the sessions at Reborn at the moment, four or five times a week. So like, I don't think there's anyone more excited than those guys for this place to open. So it just adds to the excitement like, within our team. And yeah, we love it. G'day, Thomas, Director of Yak Electrical. Yak Electrical has been operating for over 10 years now. We've been brought on to do the electrical works at the Reborn Hub, and we're excited. A part of, with Reborn as well, I've been a member for seven years now. Been training down there and enjoying my time and being a, a part of the Reborn family. So it's exciting to be a part of this project to take Reborn to the next level. Hey, I'm Michael, I'm Tommy's little brother. I've been working with Yak Electrical for about eight years now. Been a part of Reborn six years to this day. It was my first session at Reborn. Looking forward to getting stuck into creating this new hub. Reborn has been like a pretty significant part of both of our lives. We train together most mornings, starts the day, sets up everything. And I kind of feel like the business and our work and our growth, a lot of it goes down to Reborn and not just the training and being active and getting better, but uh, creating those relationships, um, not just with fellow members and best mates now, but also with the community. Because at the end of the day with work, that's what we do as well. We create relationships with the community. Well, we're pretty excited for this challenge and um, to be a part of it all. Obviously, we, yeah, Reborn has been a big part of our lives. So to be able to work in with Travis and the, and the boys and the team to help sort of create his vision is pretty exciting. Reborn, the size that it is now, it still packs a punch. It's pretty exciting to think that this place is going to be four times bigger than the current space that we're at. Some of the spaces like with the recovery, I'm really excited to to get into um, the creche it's huge like it's going to cater for all the kids to come here and, and stay here while their parents train the floor space like it's ridiculous like it's on another level basically we already we already spend a fair bit of time at reborn now so just to think with all the recovery the the pools the saunas all that sort of stuff the amount of time that we're going to spend at reborn is is going to be massive and to be able to put put something into it, put our efforts and everything and see the end product is something pretty special. Beautiful morning, get a summer morning, babe.